Okay, now we get to meet one of the owners. Hi. Katie Lindsay, how are you tonight? Great. Good. Uh, give us your cheer background, Katie. Um, I'm from Hendersonville, Tennessee. I was born and raised here. I cheered middle school. I cheered high school at Beach High School, and then I went off to college. At Middle Tennessee State University, cheered there for two years. I coach at some gyms out in Murfreesboro, and I have a little bit of background with UCA. I staff for UCA in the summertime. Outstanding. Outstanding. Um, you've been involved in the cheer industry here in uh, Hendersonville for, you said, 20 plus years. 20 plus years, yeah. That's great. Um, what kind of growth and you know what kind of stuff have you seen through Cheerville here in the last? You guys have only been open eleven months. We've been open right? eleven months under Cheerville, yes. And the biggest growth I've seen is in the recreation program, but um, everyday tumble classes. Our school teams have picked up this season. We're pushing at eighteen school teams for at capacity on our school teams right now. But the biggest growth I've really seen is just the younger kids coming in for just everyday tumble classes. Little kids that want to learn how to flip. You know, they want to be cheerleaders, but they're not ready for it yet, and they just want to learn the basics. So that's the biggest growth. Our um, tumble program has doubled in the last two months. Oh wow, mm -hmm. that's outstanding. Good deal. Now you're always looking to add all-star teams as well. Absolutely, all-stars are big in our area. Um, a lot of our kids are very competitive, and a lot of that comes from our school teams that become competitive. A lot of our school teams only compete up to a level three, and then our all-stars want to go a little bit further if they have the tumbling and the knowledge of the flying and the basing, so we do have level fours and fives all-stars as well. Great. Well, you've seen all this growth here in the last year. Mm -hmm. um, where do you go from here? I mean, what's kind of uh, What's the plan? Our plan is to keep growing. Our plan is obviously with our school teams, we're as big as we're probably going to get for this next season. We don't want to take on too much just yet. We want to make sure that we're still giving quality over quantity. Um, but our, gro our growth is really going to be with our younger program. Our older kids are great and they're happy where they're at right now and we're happy to coach them. But really, the growth of the little kids is where we're at. That's where our focus is next year. Yeah. Well, um, to get that type of growth and to, to achieve those type of goals, I guess, um, what makes this gym unique? What, what's Brag about your gym a little bit. Brag about Cheerville. I have to brag on my coaches first because without them we wouldn't have Cheerville. Um, from the very get-go they've been extremely supportive. they put their self out there. they put their jobs and lives on the line for us. I mean they have really dedicated everything they had to make sure children, Cheerville in their first year is huge. That's the big thing. They just wanted growth for our program and wanted to make sure that this was going to be a success from the get-go. But our coaches are unique because they all have different backgrounds. Some of our coaches have dancing background, but that they cheer for our program. Uh, a lot of them do choreography around the world, so they can bring all their knowledge back to us. We're kind of like a little melting pot for our coaches in the cheer world right here in Andersonville. Oh, that's great. Um, a couple more questions here. Um, brag about your kids here at Cheerville. Our kids are awesome. Um, they have passion. They're very dedicated. They will live in this gym. That's the one thing I noticed. We have what we call them gym rats. <laughs> They're kids like we used to be when we were little. They just drop off at the gym and three o'clock after school and their moms pick them up about nine o'clock at night and they eat, live, and breathe this. They love cheerleading and they're here all the time, always trying to push each other, trying to make each other better. That's great. Okay, one last question. Cheerville and the whole characters and everything, where'd that where'd it come from? Is that is that your idea or is that the villains? Uh, we wanted to be something different. Cheerville basically came from, we all had different backgrounds. Some of our coaches from Nashville, I'm from Hendersonville, um, BJ's from Louisville. Well, that's where he last was, but Ville, that's where we got our Ville from, from all of our cities. And then obviously Cheerville, but the villains is just to be different. You know, everybody's a color or an animal or something. We wanted to be something that no one else has claimed yet. No one else has been a villain, but we're the first. That's great. Thanks so much, Lindsay. Thank you.